Welcome aboard the Rocky Railway. Give me a high five and say welcome aboard. Woo, welcome aboard. Welcome back to Bible Adventures. I'm so glad you're here today. Let's sing our welcome song. Howdy friend, glad you came to ride with me. Woo, woo. Howdy friend, glad you came to ride with me. Woo, woo. Jesus' power is so strong, he can help us to hold on. Howdy friend, glad you came to ride with me. Woo, woo. Today, we're going to hear a true story from the Bible about Jesus' friends a long time ago. They boldly showed Jesus' love too. That means they weren't afraid to share Jesus' love with everyone. Jesus' friends, Peter and John, were going to their special church called the temple. Now, outside the temple, they saw a man whose legs didn't work. He had never been able to walk in his whole entire life. What would you miss if you couldn't walk? Why don't you tell me? Yeah, I would miss that too. That would not be fun. The man sat at the gate all day and asked people for money. That day he asked Peter and John for money. Let's pretend we're the man asking for money. Say it with me. Please, will you help me? Peter told the man to look at him and he said, I don't have any money for you, but I will give you what I do have. Hmm, that's surprising. I wonder what Peter wanted to give the man instead. What do you think he's going to give to the man? Why don't you tell me? Yeah, it could be. Let's find out. Well, Peter took the man's hand and boldly said, in the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. Peter helped the man stand up for the very first time in his whole entire life. The man was so excited that he started running around the temple, jumping and dancing. Can you jump and dance too? Why don't you show me? Wow, that is some good jumping and dancing. Well, the people in the temple were amazed to see this man jumping and dancing because they had seen him sitting at the gate for years and years and they knew that he could never walk. So they rushed to see if it was really true. People told their friends and then they all hurried to see what happened. Hmm, can you imagine what that was like? You're right, a big noisy crowd gathered at the temple. Peter saw that people wondered how that man had been healed. So he boldly stood up to explain. Peter said, we didn't heal this man. No, Jesus healed him. Peter explained that Jesus is really God's son and that he came to show just how much God loves us all. Now we can all be Jesus's friends. Peter had to be really brave to say that because not everyone believed that Jesus was God's son. But because of Peter's bold words, many, many people became Jesus's friends that day. Isn't that cool? Yay, let's clap. That was a... But some leaders there didn't like Jesus or his friends. They didn't believe that Jesus was God's son, and they didn't want Peter or John telling people about Jesus. So you know what they did? They put Peter and John in jail. Oh my goodness. We can pretend that we're the walls of the jail, keeping them from telling more people about Jesus. You go like this and we'll all, but all of us will become the wall. Great job. Peter and John had to stay in jail all night long. They even had to sleep there. You pretend that you're sleeping. Great job. In the morning, the leaders that put Peter and John in jail came to get them. Peter and John weren't afraid of them because Jesus's power helped them be bold. Peter was so bold and brave that he even told the leaders about God's love. And the leaders were amazed. They couldn't believe that Peter was so brave and bold, even though he was just a regular guy. They could tell he was a friend of Jesus, and Jesus helped him to be bold. 
The leader saw that everyone else was exiting and praising God, and they didn't want people to get mad at them, so they let Peter and John go. Peter and John kept boldly telling everyone about Jesus' love. Peter wasn't afraid of the leaders. Sometimes when we're afraid, we feel weak and powerless. But when we're friends with Jesus, we don't ever have to be afraid to tell people about him. In the Bible, Jesus' promise is to give us his power. And Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Now, we can tell others about his love. Who is someone that you can tell about Jesus' love? Why didn't you tell me? We can tell everyone about Jesus' love. We can be bold and tell our friends about Jesus' love right now. Let's tell our friends with a song. I'll sing it first and then you can sing it along with me. We can be bold and tell all our friends about Jesus' love. We can be bold and tell all our friends Jesus loves you. Now you sing it with me. We can be bold and tell all our friends about Jesus' love. We can be bold and tell all our friends Jesus loves you. That's it for today. See you next time.